everyone, welcome to my new series, Plan With Me. Instead of using a traditional paper bullet journal, we will be exploring digital journaling with the help of an app called Notion. Over the next few videos, I will be diving deep into what Notion is, but for now, let's plan July. A digital setting opposed to in a paper setting. Everything is set up for me, at least the same as it was in my paper journal. I have a future log, I have a month view, I have a day view, I have my habit tracker, and I have important dates. Uh, I have two collections at the bottom, one called daily archive, one called monthly archive. I don't actually use the daily archive uh, because I archive my days within the month and then the month will be archived in the monthly archive section. Again. I'm new to doing this, so this will ebb and flow as it goes, but let's plan out July. You will see that I already have July set up here. That was just because I did a test run of this before, but wanted to make sure I had something to work off for everybody. <laughs> so here we go. So I've created templates for my months and my days. Uh, I will go over in a separate video about how I created these and how easy and versatile it is for you to customize it as much as you want. Now we're just going to click add new month and it will create one based on the template that I have already set up in the system. Here we are. So this is what my general template looks like. I have a pretty cool little emoji here. I have a nice little cover at the top. This would be similar to like a washi tape or different colors that I would be using um, with all my different markers and gel pens. I have action items here. So these are the items that I need to do to further my personal projects or goals or things I want to do around the house. Um, my calendar. So this is just a table. Uh, this is a general template again, so I do have to add in the weekdays just the same as I would when I'm setting up in my paper journal. This daily archive section here is where the collection of my dailies will go once they have been added. And I do the dailies once a day. I don't set them up in advance. Um, if I miss a day, c'est la vie. I know that from personal experience when I was doing my journaling in my hard paper journal, there would be weeks where nothing was there. And it was honestly because I got tired of setting it up. I didn't want to plan what the creative look of my bullet journal was going to look like. I fell down the rabbit hole just the same as so many other people do. We, we see all these beautiful layouts and we want to make it look pretty for Instagram. You know what? I, I don't care if this is pretty. I just want it to work for me. So <laughs> this is how we got here. So we're gonna add in the calendar first. Uh, so July starts on a Wednesday. We'll go add in here. Wednesday. And there's probably an easier way to do this, but this is the way that I know how to do it so far. But in future videos, we will see more fun ways to do things as I figure them out. Monday, Tuesday. Now I did figure out that if you were to click the box here, highlight a blue, hold shift, because I'm on a PC, basically grab all of those. If you hit copy, now if you drag all the way down, it will paste as many as it can given the space. And then we just need to add in Wednesday. Granted, I could copy and paste it again, but it'll be Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And then I will go and look at my Google Calendar, any of my previous information at my future log. Uh, so I go back up a step, if I go to my future log, there's clearly nothing in here, but if I had something in here, I could go off of this. Like I said, I am still working to set this up, so it is a bit of a work in progress. I do have important dates, so this would be birthdays and anniversaries. I'm not going to open that up because it does have people's personal information in it, but I will show you in a, in a future view just an empty template of what that would look like. Now, if you see the month view, which I was in, is still over here. It still says month view. We can change that, of course. So that will be July 2020. And I'm going to add in a little sunshine. 
You can add in these cute little emojis anywhere you want. Uh, with the little semicolon and you can type something out. Uh, you, it's the same for this section here. So you could change any of these emojis. You can even upload an image. You can upload, a, a, you can put in a picture from a link. You can pick random. It's extremely versatile. So if you make cute little stickers, you could even add in your own little stickers. Back to what we were doing, the calendar. Canada Day. On Tuesdays and Thursdays, I work out with my trainer. Mondays, I have Russian. I am studying Russian right now. I will say it is not super easy, but I am in the third course and it's going fairly well. Uh, I also have, I put in here our paydays. So both mine and my husband's paydays. Uh, it's just easier for us for when we're tracking our finances and I just use a cute little money bag emoji. So I'm just going to go ahead and fill these out. Okay, so now that I've added those in there, uh, now the great thing about this calendar layout is just the same as in the paper journal. If for whatever reason, uh, over time I needed to add things, I can come in at any time. I can use my tablet, my phone, I can use a web version or it on my desktop. Um, I, have, I have access to this at any time, so I don't have to carry around a book, which I always also found a bit of a hassle. Now there are days when my husband works uh, on call, so I do like to include those in my calendar just so I know what to expect. So I just have them here as a select feature and then... And again, you can add as much or as little as you want. The next fun thing I put in here, which I can't do in a paper journal, is have an actual audio clip. So in this section here, playlist of the month, I will grab a link from my Spotify account and I will embed the playlist here. So I do like to listen to different music all the time. This is an artist I recently found. I think you pronounce the band name Miso, Miso. If you know how to say it, link it in the comments. If you have any other playlists that you think of that I would like, Feel free to share them. I'd love to hear them or share the link to your Spotify. I'm going to go ahead and add in some monthly action items. So, eight spare room. The nice thing is, if you spell something wrong, you don't have to get out the whiteout. You can just use the autocorrect. So I do also in here have all of my YouTube planning. Uh, so the really great thing is, is I can write, plan and publish for YouTube videos. But what I can also do is, can click slash and I can add a page that I can create a new page, I can add a new list, I can go pretty deep with what I can create. But because I already have the project set up, I can link to my YouTube dashboard. I can re link to a list. Uh, so there's a bunch of different things that I can link to in here. But I will leave it as YouTube videos for now. And that's really how I plan out my month uh, in the month view section. So I'll go back to my bullet journal and then for the dailies, I will show you each of the days that I will be doing. I do have a very simple template set up. So this I just change each time. I have notable news. So if there's anything that I want to remember, uh, any, anything that actually happening in the news that I want to not forget. What is my mood of the day? How am I feeling? Am I happy? Am I sad? 
Am I energized? What was the weather? Sometimes there's some correlation. If it's raining, I feel miserable, probably because I have a headache. I might elaborate that for the health portion later on. Daily tasks. These are anything that I need to do. Uh, I have a gratitude section. I find that when I am more aware of what I am grateful for, I'm happier throughout the day. And then the journal entry. The one really nice thing about this is I can come in and just add jot notes. I can add thoughts. I can add lists. It's basically anything you want to do, you can do. So this has definitely been an extremely helpful tool for myself. And I do hope that you enjoyed this plan with me in Notion session. If you already do use Notion or you use a different app, please leave a comment in the comment section below. I'd love to know what you're using. If you have a setup, a digital setup, share a link if you can. Uh, I would love to see them or tag me in a photo on Instagram at just Haley K. If you want to ensure you are receiving updates about future plan with me videos and future videos I'm doing, make sure to subscribe, hit that bell icon so that you get notifications about what videos are coming up. Happy planning.